Welcome back, friends. Happy Wednesday. I've been learning so many new things this week, like tricks to teach my puppy, yummy new recipes, and silly dance moves. What's something new you've learned this week? Isn't it great that learning doesn't just happen at school or when we do lessons? Learning happens all the time. Today we're reading a story about Sophie, who sometimes gets so angry that it's hard for her to make good decisions. What do you think Sophie will do when she gets especially angry? Tell me about a time you got really, really angry. When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry by Molly Bang. Sophie was busy playing when her sister grabbed Gorilla. My turn. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, Sophie fell over the truck. Oh, is Sophie ever angry now? She kicks, she screams, she wants to smash the world to smithereens. She roars a red, red roar. Sophie is a volcano, ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, she runs. She runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Then, for a little while, she cries. Now she sees the rocks the trees, and the ferns. She hears a bird. She comes to the old beech tree. She climbs. She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. The wide world comforts her. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down and heads for home. The house is warm and smells good. Everyone is glad she's home. Everything's back together again. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. The end. What things did Sophie do to manage her big feelings? You're right. She ran and ran until the anger left her body. Sometimes moving our bodies helps us to work through big feelings like anger. What else did she do? Exactly. When all the anger was gone, Sophie cried. Often, when we feel angry, we also feel very sad. After Sophie cried, she found a calm and safe place to rest in her favorite tree. Do you have a calm corner in your house where you can go to calm down and rest when you're feeling big feelings? This is Becca's calm corner. She likes to play guitar there. This is Sarah's calm corner. This is Poppy's calm corner. She takes lots of naps here. And this is my calm corner. It has soft pillows and warm blankets. Your calm corner might have some stuffed animals, your favorite books, and a cozy place to sit or lay. Once you've set up your calm corner, talk with your grown-ups about what will happen when you're feeling angry or sad and need to go to your calm corner. You might say something like, I'm feeling really angry and I need to go to my calm corner to calm myself down. Goodbye for now.